Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today is a show and tell video. I love seeing other people's collections and what they decide to keep from their scores at either flea markets, garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, any of the sort. And today I'm gonna show you what we have decided to keep and what bargains we've got um, for our home decor, specifically furniture. So let's dive in, hope you enjoy. First we have this chair that's really, really comfortable. It's kind of um, Matthew's designated chair for when he edits or like he does all of our graphic work like thumbnails and this is just a comfortable chair to be in. It is from the Salvation Army in Dallas, Texas and it has a story <laughs> behind it. When I got it after work one day, I just didn't even, you know, check that it would fit in the car. Um, and it barely fit. We used to have this small Kia Forte, <laughs> which we still have, but we have an SUV now. You know, for instances like this, where we find a piece of furniture that we like. Um, I was very nervous because I paid about, it was really cheap. It was about $40, possibly 50 at the most. Um, it had this mid-century modern design, but I know it's not mid-century. Um, it just kind of fit our aesthetic. But anyways, I called Matthew and, uh, you know, we lived 10 minutes away. So he rushed over <laughs> and basically did it all himself. Um, you know, I was just there for moral support. But uh, he finally got it in the car. We had to face it in this weird way. It's just such a weird shape. It's very long and very bulky and awkward, but we got it here and we love it. Moving on, this rattan slash wicker, you know, side table, I guess. It was purchased at St. Vincent's, one of my favorite places, for only like, I'm serious, like $1.39. It was that cheap. And in a second, I'll show you what it came with. But um, originally, we were just putting thrift stuff that we needed to clean on top of it. But now it sits in this corner and we love it. All right, in the corner here, you can see what we got with that um, side table. And it is like a peacock chair, but it's really small. And it just kind of sits here in the corner. There's really no purpose, but it was really cheap. I'm talking $3 as well. So I'm glad we picked it up. And you know, maybe we'll have a different use for it. I just love it. And this is just a Picasso pillow that one of my other art teachers gave me. And I just think it's so nice and it fits our art style. All right, this plant stand that you see right here was purchased at a charity thrift store called Genesis. And they um, donate to a women's shelter or the proceeds go to a women's shelter. I love it so much. It was when we were living in our apartment and we needed a plant stand and now it just holds one plant. <laughs> but it was about $40 and I think that was a pretty good deal for something like this. And I always like to support places like that. All right, this is one of my favorite pieces we have in our house. We purchased it for $80 at an estate sale. Um, the guy who was selling it had a lot of art and uh, they were just right up our alley when it comes to style and this is from Z Gallery originally so like I'm telling you it was probably originally like $300-$400. Um, we love to say that it's our mannequin's head uh, because our mannequin does not have a head and it actually looks kind of like it would fit if that makes sense at all. But you can see this poster board behind it because Matthew does a lot of inside photography on it, especially for plush that just need a simple white background. It has some minor scuffs, but like, you know, I love how right when you walk into our house, you see it. It's kind of a statement piece. All right, this is another um, plant stand that is metal and very heavy duty. And my favorite thing is that it folds in if I ever needed to transport it. It was only $10 at one of our favorite antique stores called the Cooper Street Antique Mall in Arlington. And yeah, it's just kind of in this corner and we do little displays on it sometimes, but you know, 
there's it's not really doing much but being a shelf for us to look at all right this is what's left of our christmas village and don't judge me i meant to take down christmas but you know life got ahead of me and it is still up here but anyways i wanted to show you what's underneath um this first of all is kind of a catch-all place right now right benjamin this is a beautiful table and it's really long and i just wanted to let you know we got it for free from the dumpster <laughs> that's right we lived in some pretty nice apartments you know before this house um and when i say that i mean people had nice things that they would put towards the garbage and so love finding things <laughs> that are free and this wasn't in the dumpster it was just right next to it okay because that's where people would put like bulk trash that they didn't want anymore and so i just couldn't believe it good job matthew and i can't believe he carried that upstairs all right this table right here matches our dining room table and it's not very clean right now but as you can see it's a glass top and it has mid-century looking uh wooden legs that are like almost like a starburst but Anyways, I found this table for only $10 at a place called Buckner Thrift in the Dallas, you know, area that I live in. And it matches perfectly, and I just love it so much. Um, and like I said, Christmas is still up, but we, we're showing furniture today, whether Christmas is up or not. All right, I have to show you something that we got for the dogs. This is a Hollywood feed you know, dog bed. We got it for $3 at that same Genesis thrift store, and it is worth retail about $150. So we have been using it for three or four years. That's why it's faded, but like, what a great deal. I just love thrifting. This is a TV cabinet that we purchased at the Mesquite Antique Gallery, which is closest to us, that we filled with our swung glass vases and you know, that wonderful lamp which I will be making a thrifted lamp haul soon. But anyways, Matthew gutted it in one day. I was very shocked. But it's not exactly the end result that we want, but I absolutely love it for now. Um, and yeah, it was only like $50, y'all. That's a really good price. And it's on rollers, and I just love it. I consider it furniture because, you know, when we don't have a Christmas tree on it, it, it holds other things. And I've shot thrift hauls on top of it before. All right, now I'm gonna make a tiki um, video later on, but this is a rattan like shelf. I got it in Rio Dosa, New Mexico when we were on vacation. And it's just perfect for our little collection. Um, it was only $40, so I was really happy to find that. All right, this is not organized right now. It's kind of a catch-all until we put things away really quick. But I couldn't do a furniture haul without showing you these chairs. Now this one actually is a little broken. It needs some wood glue so it stays over here. And right now no one sits here anyways. But these mid-century um, chairs, which are newly made, they're repros, were only about like $13 each and I got three of them super excited they kind of match our table and our dining room table and right now they kind of match this tablecloth but i was just super excited to find these chairs um and this table it's nothing special it's kind of like a card table it has the two fold out sides um it was free because matthew found it once again by the dumpster all right this is something we got at an estate sale it is like a fireplace screen panel like decoration <laughs> let me know in the comments if you have another word for that but i just think it's gorgeous and funny story the person across the street from us a couple houses down they ran into our fence and we were in our house less than a year and we have this really nice fence <laughs> and um they ran into it because they had like a medical event it was an accident but anyways later like months later we found out the person who was having the estate sale was them. But we just love it, and it kind of fits the color of the fireplace, uh, the painted brick, 
and it gives us kind of like an art deco vibe but more so like Native American or Southwest that's what I should say Southwest but anyways yeah it's kind of a focal point of our house because we're always looking at it this is an ottoman that I picked up from Thrift Giant in Irving, Texas. It's still in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. And it is originally Tuesday morning, uh, $50 retail. I saw the stickers on the bottom. Closeout price, $30, and I got it for $10. And I just think it works really well in this little corner. I guess I show this corner a lot, probably because almost everything was thrifted can't beat that. And last but not least, I have to show you this furniture that we use for storage. Um, I got it for free from the dumpster once again. Bought these organizational cubes um, from like Amazon, really cheap, and it holds my DVDs and stuff. So uh, this one over here was also thrifted. It holds my DVDs. And um, yeah, from Genesis for like $10. So Hope you enjoyed this kind of show and tell vlog. Let me know if you're interested in seeing other things around our house, such as decor, our lamps, or other thrifted artwork. I think I plan on making a video for all of those. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click the notification bell so that you're notified when we post more videos. So keep digging for treasure because it's not hoarding if you at least try to sell it. Ain't that right, little dears? Y'all are all my little dears. Love you. Bye-bye.